Hello everybody, Space Shark here, and welcome back to yet another Overwatch 2 tier list. So, we have done this list before. This was about two months ago when the game originally dropped, and I wanted to redo it because I feel like the list was wrong, and now that I have hundreds of hours more on some of these newer maps, I think this is gonna be more of a fair list. I'm gonna keep the original video up just for viewing purposes if you want to compare them. And other than that, yeah. So our tiers, of course, we got amazing best maps in the game. Great, love these maps. Good, they are solid maps. Average, take it or leave it. Bad, don't like these maps. And the dreaded horrible, removed from the game. So these are in alphabetical order. Um, and I guess I'll do them in alphabetical order for you guys. So, Blizzard World. Average. Take it or leave it. Hot take. You know, Blizzard World is one of the more beautiful maps. Uh, and it's just full of references from World of Warcraft, Diablo. It's pretty much the amusement park for all Blizzard games and media. Um, the only problem is, is that first point, like... Just attacking, it's kind of rough. It, it, it is a defensive favored map in the beginning. But once you get past that, that, that first point, it's a pretty solid map. But I'm not going to put it in solid map because eh, it's a cash grab. It's a sellout. <laughs> so I'm really an average ticker to leave it. Next, we have Busan. Ah, yikes. Okay. So... Man, this is rough. I don't like Busan. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I don't like Mech Base, and I don't like um, the Village Square one with the bell. But I do like the um, the city map. So I'm gonna put it in Bab. Don't like these maps. So don't really need to explain any further. You heard my point just now. Uh, it's a control point, and two of the three maps are dog water, in my opinion, if you ask me. So. It's gonna sit here in bed, don't like these maps. Let me know what you think. Uh, okay, we have Circuit Royale. Circuit Royale is a beautiful map. And I wish I could show you my win percentage on it because it is literally like 2%. I, I've only won once or twice on this map since this map has came out. It's a solid map. I like Circuit Royale. I just, I can't win on it. For some, I don't know. Just bad luck, I guess. Beautiful map. Uh, great artistic direction, uh, tons of cover, great flank routes. It is really hard to get out of that first bottleneck choke out the doors <clears throat> on attack. Uh, but once you get past that, kind of like Blizzard World, it, it, it is a fun map. It's a solid map. <clears throat> Coliseo. Great. Love these maps. Um, Coliseo is a great map, and I'm pretty sure in the original video, I probably would have ranked it here as well. Um... It's, it's a great map. Um, I think the only... So, I don't think any of the push maps are going to be in the amazing best. Because they're just so flawed with just how, how they work out. And how the point, your respawn points are constantly being pushed back. And you're walking to the point more than actually playing and fighting. So, there's a lot of downtime in these push maps. But this is by far, in my opinion, the best push map we have so far. It's a great map. It's just none of the push maps are going to be in the amazing best tier. Spoiler alert. Dorado. Average take it or leave it. Another hot take. I know some of you are going to be pissed right now <laughs> with Dorado being an average. Um, I just never really liked Dorado. Dorado is so oppressive with certain characters. Farah on this map? Disgusting. Echo on this map? Disgusting. Uh, you can really exploit and manipulate Dorado with certain characters to pretty much give you easy wins. It It is a map that when you start rolling and a snowball starts going, that shit doesn't stop. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and you pretty... It, 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 it's... It... Oh! Average take early. I won't go any further. Eichenwald. Amazing. Best map maps in the game. It is top tier, 100%. I shouldn't have to explain that. It has a great cinematic, great lore, Reinhardt's map, and Balderite's map as well. Um, but removing the lore from it, the map is beautiful. 
uh, has tons of an amazing flank routes. The first point is so fun. It can go either way. And just, ama I've had amazing games on here, man. Some, some of my greatest moments in Overwatch on this map. And you can't forget about the ending, the ending sequence. You get into the castle and you see the dead body of Valderoy. Great. It's an amazing map. Best map. I'll put it up there, S tier. Uh, this is Esperanza. So, great. Love these maps. Esperanza is a great push map, but suffers from the same thing like Coliseo, where it, it's a push map. Nothing against it. Like, I, I have to dock points here. This is my opinion, by the way. Let me hear yours. <laughs> uh, yeah, Esperanza is fun. It's unique. This may have... I think this map has the most flank routes and high ground. Like, this this map, it... Bro, it fits to every play style. And that is what is so good about it. But it's... Like I said, the push maps, man. It, they're, they're weird. And I don't think they should be competitive, personally. Also, push maps have a tendency to... Um, favor the team that moves the point first typically what happens in my experience so great love these maps uh i don't even know if i should rank on them more because um it's not in the game anymore you can play in custom games great love these maps i'm pretty sure i ranked this in s tier last time but i think i had my rose tinted goggles on my nostalgia glasses at the time so Hanamura, like I've said multiple times, it's a beautiful map, great lore, great set piece, great cinematic. It's, man, it is like, it, it's kind of the same thing with Dorado where it is super oppressive on that second point. It is, so, it, the second point is so spread open and so wide. Certain characters dominated it like Bastion or Torbjorn symmetra a widow and it's uh it also has the shortest distance from spawn point on the second point for defense so it's really hard to cap it when the defense is responding and getting to the point really quickly so just for that fact alone i put it in great other than that it would have been in top tier but just can't do it havana solid map um Let's see, Havana. Actually, you know what? I'll put Havana in great. Uh, Havana is a great map. So, this, I think, was the last map we saw in Overwatch 1. Like a, like an actual map that could be played in quick play competitive. Nothing like arcade or anything. This is also a great set piece for the Archives event. So on and so forth. And has a great color palette to it. It's a payload map. It's a strictly payload. It's not a hybrid. And it's a lot of fun. When, once you get past the first point and you get into like the, the building, that that's the most chaotic part. That building with all the high ground and the flank routes and the stairs, you're able to flank and jump down to your enemies. That is fun. It's chaotic. It's very tight. It's very small, and it just makes for interesting gameplay. Just that section. And I'll leave it. I'll leave it in great. Um, yeah, I'll leave it in great. All right, Hollywood. Hollywood is great. Um, ow, this is one of my favorite maps, but I'm not going to be biased about it. This map requires a lot of coordination. I'll say that. That first point, you're going to hear this a lot from me today, but that first point is really hard to take. So, also, the last point is hard to take, but I'll get to that. First point, you have two ways in. You have, um, through the main door. And then you have the little side door, which you're better off taking the main door because at least you can go left and go around, or you can go up and flank the enemies from behind. And then w once you get the payload rolling on this hybrid map, it's a lot of fun. You're in Hollywood. Uh, you see the saloons, the banks. It, it is such a great map. So much high ground. This is great for snipers. Great for Ana. This is one of Ana. Anna. This is great for Ash. This is one of Ash's best maps. And yeah, Hollywood. Great map. Get this fucking game map out of here. Horrible. Horizon Lunar Carlin is horrible. Enough said. Ilios. Oh man. Ilio 
Ooh, it's good. So I'm pretty sure I ranked Ilios in S tier last time, but I've played it at least 30 times since then. And I gotta tell you, Ruins is not fun. Ruins is not a fun map. It is, it's very infuriating. Um, well, it's great. Lighthouse is really good. Lighthouse doesn't get enough credit. Everyone says, well, I think Lighthouse is the best map in Ilios. It's just me. Uh, Lighthouse, well, carry this map. But Ruins, man, it's... Nah, I mean, I, I can't do Ruins, so... For that, I'm leaving it in good. They are solid maps. Junkertown, bad. I don't like these maps. Junkertown suffers from being way too wide open, so it favors very specific characters. Snipers. Um... Yeah, snipers. You could play a good Widow, good Hanzo, good Ash on this map. You're good. Ana. And it's a cakewalk in the beginning. It gets a little bit tighter towards the end. That's where it really picks up. But it's not as bad as Horizon Luna Colony, so I'll give it that much respect. King's Row. King's Row. Right now, top. Beats up Eichenwald a little bit. Um, this map is beautiful. It takes place at night. I'm pretty sure in Overwatch 2 now it takes place during the day, which I don't know why they did that. Um, this is probably the best well-rounded map. Perfect amount of flank routes, perfect amount of high ground, perfect amount of cover, and the map is the map is a roller coaster the entire way through. For coming up the door, expecting a widow up top on the attack, great. You run through. The first point is a little hard to get. It's one of the harder points, but once you get to that, get past that, the map is so much fun. This map, I, I think it's going to stay at number one for now, but we'll, we'll see. It is a great map, and as the map goes along, you push the payload, it's great. Best part of this map is the middle section. So once you capture the point and you're going through the narrow um, streets, that's the best part. When you get to like the, um, the building with the stairs, you can, that, that's like the best area. Uh, what am I... Is this Li Zhang Tower? So, I put Li Zhang Tower in S tier last time. And I gotta tell you, it fell. Um, it really did. Um, so with Li Zhang Tower, you have Night Market. Which is... Night Market is the square map, which is the best map on here. Actually, no, Control Center is the best map. Control Center alone is an S tier. Night Market, I put it like a B, and then... Bro, the other one, tower? No, bro, I can't. I can't do that. I'm gonna put it in good, solid map. Enough said, Li Chung Tower. Put it in good. Uh, we have Midtown. Midtown, in my opinion, is a good map. I rated this really low last time. Um, and this is just one of those cases where I gave it more time. I understand the map better. It's a solid map. Midtown is, a, there's no down areas, and but there's no amazing areas either. It is a great map. Um, yeah, Midtown's, Midtown is great. It's, it's good. It's balanced. Nepal, great. Ne the, the, so Nepal would be an amazing, but what holds it back for me is um, Village, the square section. Not a fan. I absolutely love Sanctum. It's one of my favorite maps in the game. And I absolutely love... Um, The, the other the other map, the circular point when you're inside the awning. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, great. Love these maps. All right, this is New Queen Street. Average. Um, <clears throat> I think it was an average last time. Just a balanced push map. A lot of flank routes, but never really a big fan. All right, now we have Numbani. Numbani is a good map. This is one of the originals. Uh, I believe this is this map is shared between Doomfist, Lucio, and Arisa. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's what I remember. Good map. Uh, it really picks up when you get to the ending point. Uh, but yeah, Nubani, good. So for maps, I'm not giving a lot of context on. It's I feel like I'm saying a, a, like I've said a lot for this these maps repeatedly, but it's not my favorite, but it's good. Oasis. So, I really used to like Oasis. 
Um, the problem with Oasis is that there's only one good map on this, on here, and it's um, University, the school. The other maps are mid. University is great though, so I leave it an average. And we have Paradiso, Paradiso, pa Paradiso, whatever you want to call it. I hated this map on release, but I have warmed up to it. Now, it's not great, it's average. Pariso is average, so I know a lot of people think this is the best looking map, which has a case for that. Just for gameplay wise, I won't put it any higher than that, it's average. <laughs> Paris. <laughs> uh, man, remember when Paris is being competitive? Who remembers that? God. So this is an assault map. You can't play Assault and Competitive anymore for specific reasons, because the maps tend to snowball. You cannot capture the second point in Paris. It is ridiculous. There's so much defensive areas you can hold up in. Yep. Rialto. S tier. Rialto is a fantastic map. Um, lots of lore. This is the map where Black Watch fell, where the cover was blown because of Reaper, because of Reaper, and it's a solid map. Well, it's better than solid. It, it is great all the way around. It, it's a great map. So S tier, number three so far. Route sixty six. S tier. <laughs> Definitely S tier. Um, I'm going to put it above Rialto. I, number three right now. Route 66 is a roller coaster. I've said that before about so many of these maps already. Route 66 is solid. Very solid. And you could, you could actually like pop off with anyone in this game. It's just that defense has such an advantage in the beginning coming out those doors. But once you push the, the payload past that little bottleneck, man, the map is fire. The map is absolutely fire. Oh, Shimbali Monastery. Horrible remove from the game. I was so hyped for this map, and it, it's so sad to say this, but I don't like the map. The map is a defensive powerhouse. There are so many turns you have to make with the payload, and for that, it, it just fav it favors the defense. And Doomfist is amazing on this map. This is one of Doomfist's best maps. Uh, a lot of long corridors. And for that, horrible. <laughs> Removing the game. Man, a lot of people are hard on this map. Um, wow. Why can't I think of it now? I'm going to come back to it. I can't believe I forgot the name. Uh, Temple of Anubis. There we go average no it's it's good the problem with temple of anubis is that this is probably the most defensive map in the game both points are so hard to catch but it's a fun map especially the second point it's a lot of fun you got a bunch of routes you can go through and man the, 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 that second point man that 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 it's great volskaya this used to be my least favorite map in the game in Overwatch 1, but it's average. I got used to it. It's fun. And Watchpoint Gibral Gibraltar. S tier. It is a fire map. This map goes either way. There's a lot of snowballing, a lot of halting. And for that, it is a perfect map. Here's my list, everyone. Uh, okay, yeah, it is. I think this is actually perfect order. Now it's perfect order. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys agree, if you don't agree. But yeah, this is my updated Overwatch 2 maps tier list. And I would just like to thank everyone for watching. And this is Space Shark signing out. Until next time, I love you. Goodbye.